In the recent surprising turn of events, Gervonta Tank Davis has declined a $20 million offer from Bill Haney and his team to fight Devin the Dream Haney. Bill Haney expressed astonishment as he finds it difficult to believe that Tank rejected such a lucrative offer. However, there might be a valid reason behind Tank's decision. It appears that Tank might have recently secured an agreement with Amazon Prime Video. This new deal suggests that Prime Video is aware of Tank's association with Premier Boxing Champions, PBC, and his potential bout with Canelo Alvarez. Consequently, it seems that both PBC and Amazon Prime Video could be hindering the possibility of the Tank Davis versus Devin Haney fight from materializing. This alliance between PBC and Prime Video could be the primary reason why Tank refused to engage in a bout with Devin Haney, despite the substantial $20 million offer. In the realm of boxing, a $20 million fight offer holds substantial weight, a proposition that typically entices most boxers. However, Gervonta Davis shocked not only the Haney camp, but also the boxing world by rejecting the highly lucrative offer presented by Bill Haney and Devin's promoter, Eddie Hearn. This unexpected decision has ignited widespread speculation and curiosity within the boxing community. Many are attempting to decipher why Tank turned down such a financially rewarding opportunity. He declined it indeed. Regrettably, Gervonta wasn't inclined to discuss the matter at this time. The original $20 million offer was extended by Bill Haney, Devin's father and manager. The proposed fight, slated for Saudi Arabia or another international location, represented not just a highly lucrative financial opportunity, but also a significant athletic challenge by pitting two of the sport's top talents against each other. The substantial value of the offer underscores the high esteem in which both fighters are held. At just 25 years old, Haney has already solidified himself as a formidable presence in the lightweight and junior welterweight divisions. His flawless record and status as a world champion in two weight classes have rendered him one of the most coveted opponents in the realm of boxing. Conversely, Davis, renowned for his explosive power and technical prowess, has emerged as a major attraction in the sport, boasting a fervent fan base eager to witness him face formidable opponents. His choice to reject this offer has consequently drawn attention and triggered extensive speculation within the boxing realm, where the pursuit of both glory and financial gain often intertwines. Davis's decision to turn down such a substantial purse is deemed uncommon, prompting various theories about his rationale. Speculations range from strategic career planning to potential contractual obligations, particularly with Prime Video. This speculation arises following Prime Video's recent announcement of a multi-year deal to stream live boxing events, starting in 2024 in collaboration with PBC. This alliance with PBC aims to grant Prime members year-round access to prominent boxing matchups. Given Tank's affiliation with Al Heyman's PBC, it adds a layer of consideration regarding his decision-making process. This could play a pivotal role in his choice to turn down the fight offer. The PBC, led by Al Heyman, is poised to feature Gervonta Davis in their initial event with Prime Video following their agreement. A primary and plausible rationale might revolve around business strategy and allegiance to a particular platform. Given Davis's recent commitment to Prime Video, there could exist contractual obligations or deliberate strategic motives guiding his decision to decline the fight. Prime Video's investment in PBC and their alignment with Davis as one of their top boxing talents could influence a preference for him to participate in their own events. This preference could stem from factors such as potential revenue and viewership, creating a scenario where Prime Video, having vested interests in both PBC and Davis, might opt for his fights to be part of their promoted events. A high-profile fight of this nature could yield various considerations, notably regarding timing and readiness for such a high-stakes bout. While Davis has consistently showcased his ring prowess, each fight at this level demands meticulous preparation and impeccable timing. Davis and his team might be exploring an alternate path or timeline for his career progression, one that better aligns with his long-term aspirations and objectives within the sport. The recent alliance between Premier Boxing Champions, PBC, and Prime Video signifies a significant shift in the landscape of boxing promotions and broadcasting. This collaboration has sparked intense discussions, 
particularly concerning Gervonta Davis's choice to decline a lucrative fight offer from Devin Haney. To grasp the implications of this partnership, a closer examination of Prime Video's strategy and its potential influence on the sport becomes imperative. A major streaming platform has been broadening its scope by venturing into sports broadcasting, with boxing marking its recent foray. Through a deal inked with PBC, Prime Video has strategically positioned itself as a significant entity within the boxing realm. This move surpasses mere broadcasting rights. It represents a calculated decision to tap into the burgeoning market of sports streaming, providing live sports content to its subscribers. The enlistment of high-profile boxers like Canelo Alvarez and Gervonta Davis under the Prime Video umbrella underscores the platform's unwavering dedication to boxing. These signings not only bring star power but also ensure a guaranteed audience, crucial for the triumph of any sports broadcasting endeavor. For Prime Video, securing fighters of such caliber serves as a means to establish credibility and entice a devoted fan base. The collaboration with PBC is pivotal, particularly in the context of Gervonta Tank Davis fighting on Prime Video. One of the pivotal aspects of the PBC and Prime Video agreement is the aspect of exclusivity. Boxers like Davis, who have inked deals with Prime Video, are probably bound by contracts prioritizing fights on this platform. This exclusivity is crucial for Prime Video to optimize its investment and ensure that its top fighters remain integral to its broadcasting sphere. It's conceivable that this contractual obligation significantly influenced Davis's choice to reject Haney's offer, as it might have necessitated him to fight on a different platform. The alliance between PBC and Prime Video signifies the shifting dynamics in sports broadcasting. Streaming services are increasingly delving into live sports, offering an alternative to conventional cable and pay-per-view models. This transformation could prompt more competitive bidding for broadcasting rights, potentially augmenting earnings and exposure for boxers. Davis's refusal of the $20 million offer could be intertwined with these changing dynamics. Eddie Hearn delved into the intricacies and hurdles associated with materializing a fight between the two fighters. Hearn conveyed his willingness to collaborate with Davis by extending substantial offers, notably the significant $20 million proposal for the fight. The offer, presented by Bill Haney, Devin Haney's father and manager, was not solely a financial proposition, but also represented a notable opportunity within the boxing world. However, Davis's outright dismissal of even discussing the offer left Hearn and his team in a challenging position. Davis's refusal to engage in negotiations suggested deeper underlying issues hindering the potential for this fight to materialize. Hearn hinted at the likelihood of hidden grievances or personal conflicts complicating the process. Additionally, he addressed the broader challenges prevalent in the boxing industry where financial expectations and the commercial value of fighters significantly influence negotiations and potential matchups. He highlighted the considerable financial stakes involved in a potential Haney versus Davis fight, yet emphasized the reality of navigating through impractical financial demands in boxing promotions. It's crucial to ensure that the commercial value aligns with the expectations of the fighters. These astronomical figures like $20 million often serve as a lure, but they might not always be feasible. He pointed out instances where individuals such as Leonard Ellerby attempted to diminish Devin Haney by referencing aspects like the fight only drawing 50000 Hearn's remarks indicated a sense of frustration with the present state of boxing promotions. In this landscape, discussions about a fighter's worth and market appeal can sometimes overshadow the sporting essence. He criticized the trend of undermining Devin Haney's value, emphasizing that Haney's capacity to sell tickets and generate pay-per-view interest should not be underestimated. If you're curious, Tank responded to Bill Haney's $20 million offer and made a retort on social media. After Bill went on Instagram Live to discuss the lucrative offer, Tank discerned Bill's intentions, accusing him of seeking attention by using the purported $20 million offer to boost his son Devin's popularity. Gervonta Davis had previously advised Bill to contact his manager, Al Heyman, if he genuinely desired his son to fight him, rather than engaging in social media discussions. 
During the live stream, Bill's followers persistently tagged Gervonta Davis, aiming to provoke conflict between them. It appears they succeeded, as Bill Haney promptly requested his fans to refrain from mentioning Davis in the comments, stating that the boxer had blocked him. He requested, Stop tagging Tank, he's blocked me. Instead, tag the face of boxing, Devin Haney. Expressing surprise at being blocked by Davis, Bill Haney highlighted his significant role in promoting a potential fight. He remarked, Yeah, he blocked me right after I mentioned $20 million. You know what time it is? In response to Eddie Hearn's recent statements about challenges in negotiating a bout between Gervonta, Tank Davis, and Devin Haney, Leonard Ellerby, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, conveyed in a series of messages that their side holds the upper hand. Ellerby asserted that offers cannot be presented to Davis as Tank has the authority to dictate terms based on his preferences. Ellerby stated unequivocally that if Tank decides he wants to fight in Saudi Arabia, he will directly handle the deal, completely dissociating from it. Similar to how Hearn attempted to involve himself in the Ryan fight, observing how that unfolded, if Tank and Haney face off, any offer will originate from Tank, following his conditions, and will directly reach them. He won't be involved in the process, that's certain. Amidst all the commotion, it's important to clarify that Gervonta Tank Davis hasn't outright declined a bout with Devin Haney. While there's been extensive speculation regarding his decision, it's crucial to comprehend the specific conditions under which Davis is willing to step into the ring with Haney. Davis is open to the prospect of fighting Haney, but he has specific requirements concerning the weight class and the fight's terms. Davis's main concern centers on the fight's weight division and the accompanying rehydration clause. He opposes a catchweight bout that mandates fighters to meet at a weight that isn't their natural fighting weight. Moreover, Davis is especially wary of a rehydration clause set at 35 pounds. Such a clause would restrict the amount of weight Haney could gain between the weigh-in and the actual fight, which holds significant importance for many boxers in terms of strategy and physical readiness. Meanwhile, Haney isn't inclined towards participating in a catchweight or accepting any rehydration clauses. Devin Haney was elaborating on his refusal to engage in a bout with Gervonta Davis under specific weight conditions. This refusal adds to the complexities involved in making this fight a reality. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.